what's up i'm ayana and welcome to my channel guys what's going on today i'm gonna take you guys in a day in the life of a chicken hauler live haul driver whatever you want to call it anyways your girl hauls chickens and today i'm gonna show you uh, what the day really just entails for me i should say um i have two loads today right now i'm looking at my load book to see the directions uh, my first uh, farm that we're going to is about 54 miles. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give you guys all the details and things like that. I just want to say, before we get into the video, I'm going to try my best to show you the most I can without showing you everything. Because I do want to keep where I work at, you know, discreet as possible. Because I don't need anybody to find out. And then I get reported and then I get fired and all that other stuff. Yeah, because especially when it deals with chickens and farms and i will also say when i get to the farm i more than likely will not film because uh, i'm not supposed to film like you know chickens how the chickens are raised and things like that but i will do the best i can i hope i can inform you guys with the most of my ability um it is currently 4 43 p.m we need to leave this plant at 5 30. so um i'm gonna go ahead and do a pre-trip i have to fuel and then i have to plan out um where I'm going okay but before we get into all that let me just give y'all a little bit of a something something hold on are you gonna stick now when it comes to hauling chickens okay let me push this down when it comes to hauling chickens there's a few things you want to uh, bring okay first and foremost baby uh, first and foremost you need to do some cleaning supplies I have Lysol to wipe down whatever I touch because it's either, if it's not dirt, it's boo-boo. And if it's not boo-boo, it's dirt, okay? And then I also have this as well that I spray my seats with. It is a disinfectant and air freshener and it is in eucalyptus. Who doesn't love eucalyptus? If you like eucalyptus, comment down below, okay? But um, yeah, I had a chicken poop on me yesterday and I wiped it off with Lysol, okay? That's not it, hold on y'all, hold on. So we have a book bag, this is my carbon book bag. Um, I keep air fresheners in my book bag as well because it gets pretty stinky, you know, it definitely does, especially at night. I keep a jacket. I wear this jacket um, usually at night and most of the time when I'm loading and unloading, just in case if I get pooped on, I don't have to change my clothes. I can just take off the jacket, okay? We have a snack here just in case I get a little hungry, all right? Um, energy drink because why not? This is a, I use, I, I'm starting to drink rain. Okay, all right. <laughs> and then, you know, your chapstick. And then I have an extra pair of clothes just in case you get pooped on. You want to keep those extra pairs of clothes. Also, with chicken hauling, you want a vest. I have my vest right here. We got the vest. Um, a headlamp. I have two headlamps. One is battery, one is a uh, uh, One is battery as in like rechargeable and the other one is like double A batteries. This is my favorite one. I got this from my coworker. It does all that wonderful stuff. Always keep a headlamp on you because <laughs> we work at night for the most part. Lotion, things like that. Just things to keep you clean for any type of mistake that could happen, okay? Um, but yeah, I usually start off my day with a soda. I get a Coke Zero. Come on now, we still truckers. Just because we home every day don't mean we need truckers. <laughs> and then, um, I showed you guys this in my like last video, but I guess I'll repeat it. Hold on guys, sorry. We got the boots. Oh, uh, let me show y'all. This is how dirty it can get down here, okay? You don't know if there's mud or chicken poop or both, okay? So I usually keep these boots in the truck and then I have like my uh, other shoes over there. So yeah, I gotta vacuum this bad boy and wipe it down, okay? I won't be showing my pre-trip, but pretty much if you don't know what a pre-trip is, you just pretty much check your truck to make sure there's nothing wrong or to where something can't go wrong. Tires, oil, uh, coolant, all that lovely stuff. I'm going to do that. I'm going to check in back, y'all, when I fuel, okay? Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. We are about to fuel right now. I had to go in. Oh, let me back up a little bit. Any idea? Nope. I have one in the office really quick. Let's go drop. I have got a gift for like um, one of my managers because he's going through a breakup and I just want to be nice. I just want to be kind. That's all. I hope you don't think I'm trying to like 
get out. No, your girl is just being kind. Like, don't do too much. Anyways, let's get some fuel. Oh, boy. Like sixty six zero seven nine two. All right, Let's get some fuel here. I think y'all hear the echo. I think empty. Now this thing takes, hold on, girl, quick, this thing takes a long time, so we're going to be here for a minute. I know I got like a quarter tank on here, so we're going to be here for a minute, okay. But yeah, we're just going to fuel up and then we're going to go across the street, go pick up the trailer, and we're on the road. Alright guys, right now we're about to back up into a trailer. Just just look at it through the back of my window, please. I can see right now the lights on this trailer don't work so we're gonna have to unhook yeah these lights don't work ah. y'all gonna hear air come out because i forgot to release the air
clip that real quick. Alright guys. Turn the lights work. What we do is we take these straps, make sure they're not loose. Because you don't want any crates falling off when you go down the street. <laughs> this is how I check them. And then we're going to hit our tires. Make sure these lights back here work. They work, they blanking. And then we do the same thing on the other side. It's not too bad. Y'all see all this poop? All this poop it stinks i ain't even gonna hold you <laughs> it definitely it definitely stinks make sure your blankets work make sure the ratchets are in pretty good when our straps fail we use ratchets one thing i hate is leaning here hate cranking this stuff just the other day I forgot to crank on my landing gear and um, I was driving luckily I didn't go I didn't get too far I didn't get on the road but yeah but our landing gear is up and we are ready to get back in the truck guys hopefully you see right so we do have paperwork that we do and um Put your name, your date, gallons. Uh, I think how many gallons did I get? I think I got about 59, if I believe. And then um, you put the farm name that you're going to, your trailer number, which is 38. Um, your arrival at the shipper, which is the plant, is currently 520. We got here around 510, and we're gonna be leaving out of here probably about now, honestly. So I'm gonna put 520. I'm supposed to leave at 5.30, but not really that big of a deal. What a 10 minute difference. And then we put what time we go to the farm, what time we get to the farm empty, and what time we leave loaded, when they finish loading, all that stuff. And then you put in your miles, your starting miles and your end miles. And yeah, if you're wondering how we get paid, uh, it's kind of iffy right now, but um, right now we're getting paid on a salary rate, but I want to say around June, it'll be uh, based off of miles and the load. We're just getting paid off a salary rate right now because of um, the account just started. So yeah, there's that. It's decent for me, it pays my bills. So let's go ahead and get down this road and I'll give you guys some more details on some different things, okay? What up y'all, what's going on? I hope you can hear me. I want to come on here and show you guys. So when um, working in agriculture, at least from what I've been observing, um, we do drive in a lot on a lot of routes that are that say no trucks, okay? But girl, I'm not speaking, shut up. But um, they're still, uh, for the most part, truck friendly. Um, there's only like one time I went on a route and I was kind of like skeptical because the sign said no trucks, and then under the sign it was like trucks. Your GPS is wrong, no trucks. But what am I supposed to do, turn around? I can't turn around. And then I ended up going under a bridge that was like 136, like exactly. So that was pretty much like the closest encounter to just like, you know, being wrong as a truck driver. But a lot of the roads are uh, no trucks. And also we do go on a lot of back roads as well, as well and dirt roads and uh coming in and out of the farms like when we get to the farm it's a lot of dirt you have to be you have to be really careful when it's raining and all that lovely lovely stuff our cb radio stay on especially when we get near the farm because a lot of these farms are one way in and one way out so we will have to use the radio to make sure there's no truck coming out or no truck coming in when we need to go the opposite direction because the last thing you want to do is meet a truck now when it comes to this to the situations where you do have to meet a truck one truck is going to be empty and one truck is going to be loaded with chickens the truck that's loaded with chickens has the right of way so the truck that is empty has to figure out how 
how they're going to get out of the situation that they're both in. You get what I'm saying? It, it's, it's a lot of talking and a lot of explaining, but that's the that's pretty much what it.
how I protect my hair because it's dusty and boo boo and all that other stuff. I wear a cap and then sometimes I'll put my hood up. So I look crazy. But I want to tell you something. If you've ever done a flat bed before, it's the same concept. Um, just uh, hook it into here, pull it down, and it tightens. You only need a good, a good one or two uh, tightens to tighten this down. But that's just pretty much how we hook them. Stack them up like that. Now, I'll show you guys the chickens when we get back to the plant. Like I said, I don't want to show too much at the farm. Hey, guys. All right. We are on our way back loaded with chickens. So one thing to know when... Uh, Cows? One thing to know when hauling chickens. You're, you're, you're going to be top heavy, okay? These chickens are loaded to the top. They're heavy. We have over a thousand chickens on the truck, on the trailer right now. So... Top heavy, meaning don't take the curves too sharp or too fast. Stay off the soft shoulders because once that trailer dip, it's going to roll over and you're going right with it. Okay? So just be careful or just know to be careful if um, this is ever anything you want to do. Okay? Well, we're on our way back and I'll see you guys at the farm and I'll show you the chicken. All right, guys, we are at the farm. These are, the, not the farm, the plant. These are our chickens. They are about to get slaughtered. I'm so sorry. But yeah, let's go. All right, guys, I'm currently here to end this video. I'm actually on my second farm, or last farm. I'm not gonna really record anything because it's really dark outside. And yeah. It's funny because on the directions, uh, on the directory book, to get here, they had a picture of a whole nother farm. And I went to that farm because it's, it's, it's right down the street. And I'm like, oh, this isn't right. Nobody's here. So, just got to be careful and be efficient to directions. But my number one tip for people, if you are, if you are someone that wants to get into hauling, uh, doing live haul no matter how much experience you have as a truck driver doing any or everything there's always something different and something new to learn so always come to um, another job being humble like for example I have car home experience but I'm not gonna sit here and be like oh well I know how to haul cars so this is gonna be easy no my babes it's not <laughs> no no, it's, it's always something new to learn because I can roll over the truck today. God forbid, not going to believe but I'm just saying. Definitely, humbly, oh, where is my thing? De definitely, sorry, y'all. Definitely humble yourself with any job, especially in a truck, okay? Because the minute you start disrespecting stuff, the truck is going to disrespect you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye.